Hi guys, thanks for purchasing Trip by Clean Commando. Um, depending on what version you purchased, um, it might look slightly different from what you can see here. Okay, and I've got the Trip by Clean Commando X version, that's the, the, the full upgrade um, throughout, throughout the sales funnel. Um, you can upgrade at any time as well just via the membership site if you want to get some of these extra features. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a series of videos how to use the software and it's very very simple to use and I'm going to put all those soft, all, all those video tutorials in the one page and if you want to upgrade later you can okay. Um, so let's just cover some of the basics first. IFTTT.com let's just cover what it is and what it does okay. You can see here um, IFTTT.com has got what they call channels okay channels um, as far as we're concerned they are web 2.0 properties that's the ones that we're using to create the link wheels now what IFTTT does is it creates what they call triggers and actions okay so if we trigger an action by uploading a new video to YouTube <clears throat> and then the action would be to uh, syndicate that content over to another web 2.0 property in this case the way that we have the sequence set up and um, via the software is going to post over to blogger and so on and so forth so that this content keeps getting syndicated at the same time it's creating a link wheel okay it's always going to have the embedded link going back to YouTube and it will have a link to the last URL as well now this is a very powerful strategy it's worked very very well for myself and for a lot of existing customers um, I've actually had this software for more than four or five months now and people who are on my own mailing list have, have actually purchased this and uh, been using it quite successfully. Uh, the, book, the way I find best to use it is to, to create three IFTTT accounts for every single YouTube channel you have, okay? The software just speeds up the process, creating the, the recipes needed to be able to get the maximum benefit. Now, what I do with my three uh, IFTTT accounts is I create two link wheels and one blog network one IFTTT account for each one of those okay so that's three accounts I use for um, one particular YouTube channel now if we go over to fiverr.com this is where I get the IFTTT accounts done okay usually I'm using this guy here HGRI malt okay this guy I'm usually using um, he's very good at what he does um, but I just noticed this one here today Okay, this guy will provide four IFTTT accounts for five dollars. Might be worth checking them out. And um, I've got underneath this video uh, a text file with instructions you can give to the guy on Fiverr.com, telling him exactly what accounts you need to be set up. And also, don't forget to tell him to when he creates a Gmail account, when it, when that, that's associated with the IFTTT account, to forward that Gmail account over to an email address that you um, do check. Uh, what can happen from time to time is what they call a channel, say what we call web 2.0 properties, sometimes they can become inactive, okay? And to make it active, you just have to um, click on it and uh, just fill in your details again. But if, if you're not notified that your channel has gone, uh, has been deactivated, then you're breaking up your link rules. So for example here, I'll, I'll just choose one of these that we don't need just to show you how it works. Okay, so if I click on this one here for Bitly, you can see here it clicks that you can click on activate. And it's asking you to sign in. Okay, it would be either with a username or email. In this case, um, they're giving us some options for Facebook and Twitter as well. Um, once you're signed in, you have to click allow. And um, that, that just activates the channel. Sometimes from time to time they will go offline so you need to be careful of that and the best way to do that is to make sure that the email address um, in your account settings here uh, is forwarding over to an email that you do actually check. Okay, So when you go over to fiverr.com you can use the instructions file I've got underneath this video and that will tell them what channels you want to um, set up. In that instructions file I, I have told them not to create a YouTube channel and the reason for that is that um, it's very very difficult these days to be able to use accounts created from a different place okay what I do is I tend to create all of my YouTube accounts um, myself I do maybe one or two uh, every one or two weeks just whenever I get time I can sit there you know even watching TV sometimes I can sit and create a channel in the background and um, 
that way I've got everything working from my home IP but if you're using uh, different IPs uh, like, like squid proxies or something you can um, I suppose just get someone to do that but you're going to have to claim that um, via uh, text verification which can be a little bit tricky if you've done that from a different location okay although you can still do it you're just going to have to use your own cell phone number or a friend's right now what we can do here is once we've got the, the accounts back this is from this uh, guy who I mentioned first this is what it looks like it's got all of these channels or web 2.0 properties activated and when we click down here on the tabs here for Hootsuite you can see I've got another um, bunch of accounts created as well some of these accounts are the, uh, um, some of these websites here like Facebook and Twitter etc LinkedIn Facebook they're also over here in the main IFTTT accounts these are the channels within IFTTT but IFTTT also has Hootsuite which also has some of these other um, has these websites too but what he has done he has created um, a second a second um, account for each one of them okay all we need to do though is go up here where it says IFTTT login details and we want to take the username and the password from here and we're going to use that for the software okay let's go back to the software put that in here I want to take the password Control C, take the password, Control V, and that goes in there. So now we can sign in. Okay, this is what you will see once you're signed in. And all we have to do now um, within the IFTTT, IFTTT YouTube um, tab up here is we click on Create Recipes. And the software will get started in just a second, and it will go and start creating these recipes in a sequence that means that every time you upload a new video to YouTube that video will be syndicated in a sequence um, of, of um, syndication that will create link rules for every video that you, you upload okay so the only thing you really need, need to watch out for after that is to make sure that your email address associated with IFTTT is actually forwarding to an email address that you use so that if one of these channels get deactivated then you are you're aware of it and you can go and fix it immediately and that way your link rules will never get broken okay um, <clears throat> this takes a few seconds to get started um, I had a previous version of this I've actually had a, a, this software for about four months um, it's been tested well there's about 60 70 people from my own email list who have, have been using this so far and um, it was a little bit faster so we'd have to do a little bit of work probably by the time that you get this it's going to be a lot faster and you can see this and kicking off and, and moving really fast and um, going through the, the recipe cre creation so I just started there I think I just I, I must have not clicked this properly when I clicked it a second time it just started going off so what it's doing now is it's choosing the trigger. Remember I said triggers and actions, okay? So the trigger is a new video uploaded to YouTube, which is this, this one over on the right-hand side. So it's gonna create the trigger, and that's it. if this, then that, where they get the name IFTTT from. Um, so if this, a new video uploaded to YouTube, then that, we created the trigger. Now the action will be to post make a new text uh, text post over to blogger <clears throat> and what you need to be aware of once once you are um, uploading a video to YouTube you need to remember this video um, will get syndicated across all these different web 2.0 properties um, with that in mind you want to make sure that you're using um, good information in, in your titles and your descriptions um, you're using uh, tags and labels and stuff like that and so that these things get uh, syndicated with the maximum SEO value for them okay so you can see here for every new video uploaded by my channel here which is kissim.org um, then a new post will be created on blogger which IFTTT does for us okay so that's how that works and this just goes through and at the end of it um, all the recipes are created so I'm going to pause the video until it's all done and I'll come back when it's done okay so now we've got something like 12 recipes created and let's just go through them um, so you can see the end ones here um, Zootool is a, is a bookmarking site as is Deagle 
and we got hood sweet as well in here which is really really good and delicious is a bookmarking site as well so if we just go further we can see what's been going on here and um, this indication of the video flowing through from blogger to tumblr to wordpress etc etc and all the way up until we got 12 recipes created now if you're going to use the vimeo one uh, you need to use a separate account for a separate IFTTT account for Vimeo and you need to use a separate IFTTT account for the blog network as well okay if you go and do this in the same account you're going to get double um, recipes created and that means you're going to get double content posted and you're going to have a, a, an issue with that because you're just going to be posting the same content again and again and again now for WordPress you can use your own self-hosted WordPress or you can use WordPress.com I suggest that you have one uh, IFTTT um, account set up by yourself for your own um, accounts that you use quite regular if you're using Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, WordPress etc and put your real accounts in there um, just one of them and have that link to your main channel okay for all the other channels support channels etc use the accounts created by the guy on Fiverr.com so that's it it's really really very easy um, it's basic and it, it's a very, very powerful strategy. Don't underestimate this. I mean, a lot of people were asking me how I managed to rank a squeeze page for um, the keyword YouTube SEO. And this is one of the main reasons because I was using this syndication system here along with the, the YouTube channel link rules as well and some other bits and pieces that I showed um, during the YouTube link rule commander launch uh, last time. If you didn't manage to see any of those videos, you can get them on the kissim.org website that's k-i-s-s-i-m dot org um, you can go and find those videos on there and um, you can see the way that I set up channels um, from from start uh, to be able to get the maximum power out, out of the um, of the um, channel optimization etc okay so that's really how you can use the uh, tube link rule tab and it's really three steps one you get over go over to Fiverr you get the guy to set up IFTTT account Two, you fire up the software, you log in, and three, click create recipes, and that's it. Now, when you're done here, go to the top up here and click sign out. Okay, now if you're using the, um, if you want to use the Vimeo uh, recipes as well, once you've signed out, what you want to do is you want to sign in with a new IFTTT account. You don't want to do the same account as what you did the first one, otherwise you're going to create duplicate recipes. That means duplicate posting, which is never a good thing, okay, as far as like putting the same content on the same site uh, within the same account, etc. So what you want to do there is sign in again with a different account. Then you can click on the Vimeo tab up here, click on create recipes, and it will go off and do the recipes. And the same thing again, once the Vimeo one is done, if you have taken the OTO2 and you've got the um, blog network um, option, again, you just sign in with a different uh, account. So you want to sign out first on the top right hand side here when, when, it's, um, when you're logged in. Sign out and you want to sign in with a different IFTTT account. Then go over to the blog network uh, tab here and click create recipes and it will go and create those recipes okay so it's really really very very simple software it's a real time saver and there's a lot of thought being put into the actual sequence and how it works and you know the best ingredients to use within each recipe ingredients and recipes are what IFTTT calls um, the actual setup um, with the different um, bits of information that you're feeding into the system uh, to use things like the, the content the last URL um, description title etc and the tags and labels or whatever else they, they, they call it for different uh, web 2.0 sites okay so it's very very simple very very basic stuff to be able to get this up and running there's nothing complicated about it at all it shouldn't really confuse anybody and just to recap again um, you, you want to have different IFTTT accounts for each of these tabs okay you do not want to try and put all of these recipes within one IFTTT account because you will be getting multiple um, duplicate content within the same account on those sites and then you could probably get a, a problem with those particular sites where they might close you down and you have to go and manually set up a new one okay um, so from that one what I'll do next in the next video will cover the only wire 
and we'll cover the chimp feeder and bulk ping tabs. Um, some of you will be familiar with that from previous softwares and the reason I keep putting them in here is because they're very, very important for helping you to get rankings, okay? And there's multiple ways that we can use this and we're gonna, we're gonna um, discover some of those in the next video as well, okay? So that's it, I'll see you in the next video, bye.